Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can create an effect of RGB splitting or chromatic aberration that will allow you to kind of offset or move all those base colors of red, green and blue, I always have to remember what the <laughs> exact terms are and kind of give them that offset as if they're not completely aligned inside of your camera but there are kind of differences between these two that you can see the same effect of RGB splitting on the edges of objects and stuff like that. So first of all I'm going to create a single material that we're going to use on one of these boxes to make the same kind of process more visible. I'm going to move it back and I'm going to place it here, for example. So we're going to create a single material, which is going to be red. I'm going to edit it by double clicking on it. And it's going to allow us to better see the effect in action because right now we have our starter content, basically gray world that we want to adapt into something different. So I'm going to add a vector tree node, constant tree vector, sorry. And for the base color, by clicking on it, I'm going to go with something very much red. And it's going to be a simple red color. I'm going to save it. It's going to take a few seconds to get the same preview done and for the save to end. And then I'm going to apply it to my box or static mesh there. Uh, here we have it, it's nice. And we have our red box. Now I'm going to add a post-processing volume around this space where we're going to actually use the chromatic aberration effect or chromatic aberration ability to influence chromatic aberration to get that RGB splitting effect. So post-processing volume, here we have it. Let's drag it here. I'm going to enlarge it so it encompasses all of this. Uh, here it is. And now for the effect itself. So with the selected post-processing volume, here we have it. We're going to find the chromatic aberration and here it is under lens, chromatic aberration effect. And we have two elements. First is intensity and the start offset. So for intensity, you'll quickly see that it can go from zero with no, no uh, intensity whatsoever. So the images that you're seeing in the same post-processing volumes are the same as the rest of the value. And it goes all the way to five, which is the maximum amount. So for starts, we're going to add one and start offset, we're going to also add one as well. We can move this from zero to one. So for the sake of the test, let's, place it to 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Okay, so we're going to save and we're going to test it out the same post-processing volume in the game. So there we have it. I have to start shooting so I can start moving and we're entering the volume and there is a bit of offset it's barely visible, but I'm going to intensify it and take down the offset. So I'm going to set intensity to four and offset to zero. And we already see the effect. Again, we have the movement and we're inside of it. And there you have it. We have that intensity set, as you can see on the edges, you can see the color changing as I move around. It's different on the red object. Now you can see directly the same two lines. And here you can see a bit more green and yellow and the intensity is there. 
so I can go and try to get maximum offset and start offset which also kind of changes as well and here we have it of course everything is offset as well inside of the same post-processing volume but when I move out of it it goes back to normal so with these two you can kind of modify get whatever effect you'd like in whatever setting you would want to have it with zero it's even not visible actually so the start of offset is easiest to have it on in this case on zero so there's no offset at all or sorry fall off instead you immediately get the same effect now there is a bunch of ways how you can use that particular effect maybe the well the most famous one is to add it to a sequence that you'll use for example to simulate vhs tapes and that visual effect but there is also a bunch of other means how you can do it in your particular level or how you can use it but yeah the whole point is to basically find the chromatic aberration and then use basically mainly intensity start offset would be probably more visible if you had a much bigger space that you would want to encompass in your post-processing volume it's simple it's easy it's usable of course there are other ways how you can get that chromatic or rgb offset or splitting effect even those where you can move the individual colors much more intensively or with higher force away from their objects or original visual effect let's call it that which would get a much stronger effect however this for start is going to use the just that single element of the process processing volume and get you the result you're looking for it's up to you to kind of upgrade those if you want to have something more impactful let's call it that that with this effect that's all for this video that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching it thank you so much for sticking until the very end if you are here still please consider subscribing to my channel leaving a like leaving a comment or question or anything else you want to tell me in the comment section below there is a bunch of ways how you can support my channel all of them are much appreciated you can become my patron supporter on patreon you can send me bucks or bitcoins directly you can buy my books on amazon all of that is very 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 awesome for me but the easiest and cheapest way is to simply subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos again thank you so much for watching you are awesome and have a loads of fun in your unreal engine projects until my next video in precisely seven days from now until then bye bye